Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to be describing what is the difference between an ankle sprain and a high ankle sprain. Another name for an ankle sprain is a lateral ankle sprain. This is a plastic model of the ankle. You can see these are the two bones in the lower leg. This bigger bone is the tibia and this smaller bone is the fibula. And this is the outside part of the foot and ankle. This right here is the big bump on the outside part of the ankle called the lateral malleolus. Right here is the calcaneus, that's the heel bone. And the bone just above that is the talus. And you can obviously see the rest of the bones in the feet. A lateral ankle sprain occurs to the ligaments that are on the outside or lateral part of the ankle. A sprain is an injury to a ligament. So in both of these conditions, there are injuries to the ligaments. In the lateral part of the ankle, there are three ligaments that attach the fibula to the foot bones. One of those ligaments is the anterior talofibular ligament. It attaches this bone right here, the fibula, to the anterior aspect of the talus. The next one is the calcaneofibular ligament that attaches the fibula to the calcaneus. And then there is the posterior talofibular ligament. These are the ligaments that get injured in a lateral ankle sprain. The most common ones are the first two, the anterior talofibular ligament and the calcaneal fibular ligament. Those are the most common ligaments injured in a lateral ankle sprain. In a high ankle sprain, the ligaments that become injured are the ligaments that attach these two bones together. These two bones, again, this is the tibia and this is the fibula. There are a number of ligaments that attach those two bones together. And you can see they are slightly above the ankle joint. That is why it is called a high ankle sprain. So the main difference between a high ankle sprain and a lateral ankle sprain are the ligaments that are injured. The most common location of ankle sprains is the outer or lateral region. 80% of ankle sprains take place in the lateral area. Strong ligaments attach the bones of the lower leg to several bones in the foot. The ligaments of the lateral ankle function to prevent excessive inward turning of the ankle, a motion that is called inversion. Three ligaments attach the lower aspect of the fibula bone to the foot. The anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneal fibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. Most ankle sprains occur to the anterior talofibular ligament or the calcaneal fibular ligament. In most cases, a lateral ankle sprain occurs traumatically when the athlete's ankle twists or turns to a larger degree than the ligaments would normally move. Traumatic ankle sprains are one of the most common sports injuries. Symptoms of traumatic ankle sprains begin immediately. Sharp pain is felt instantly, and it is followed by a lack of motion, limited strength, inability to bear weight, swelling, and bruising. Symptoms of a severe ankle sprain may persist for months, and if not treated properly, it can lead to instability in the ankle joint. Symptoms of a non-traumatic ankle sprain usually begin insidiously. Symptoms are described as a deep, dull ache that is tender to the touch and increases with walking, running, and standing, or with foot and ankle motions. Localized swelling may persist for months. A high ankle sprain is an injury to one or more of the ligaments that connects the two bones of the lower leg. The difference between a high ankle sprain and the more common lateral ankle sprain is the location. A high ankle sprain is located higher on the leg than a lateral ankle sprain. High ankle sprains make up about 10% of ankle sprains. A high ankle sprain is a serious injury that requires a long healing period, longer than lateral and medial ankle 
sprains. The reasons that a high ankle sprain takes longer to heal than a lateral or medial ankle sprain is because the ligaments are attaching two bigger bones together and also because of a lack of blood supply to the ligaments. A high ankle sprain most commonly occurs in sports such as football, soccer, lacrosse, basketball, hockey, skiing, hiking, and trail running. High ankle sprains usually occur when the athlete pivots suddenly to the inside with the foot planted on the playing surface. An excessive amount of external rotation force on the fibula bone in respect to the tibia pulls the bones apart resulting in a ligament injury. Pain located slightly higher than the ankle joint begins immediately. The athlete may feel or hear a snap, pop, tear, or rip. Swelling and bruising may begin very quickly. Tenderness is usually present throughout the entire ankle, but is worse directly over the injured ligaments. Ankle motion is limited and weak in all directions. There is limited ability to bear weight on the injured leg and limited ability to push off the toes while walking. The main difference between a ankle sprain, also known as a lateral ankle sprain, and a high ankle sprain is the location of the ligaments that are injured. In an ankle sprain, it is the ligaments on the outside part of the ankle that are injured. In a high ankle sprain, it is the ligaments that connect the two bones of the lower leg together that are injured. I have already published videos on the high ankle sprain and the lateral ankle sprain. So I will put links to those two videos in the description box below. You can watch those videos to get a more in-depth description of those two injuries and also self-treatment and professional treatment for those two injuries. I want to thank everybody for watching today's video. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please feel free to like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. And if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below.